Hello my crafty friends, I hope you're having a fabulous day today. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. I wanted to do a follow-up to the project that I shared with you in my Christmas in July gift ideas hop. For that, I created two stationary boxes. One was a traditional red and green version that I filled with Christmas cards, tags, and embellishments. And the second version I did was in a shabby chic pastel that included beauty items. I participated in the swap in the Facebook group Loaded Envelope Galore and More, and I am giving my swap partner the traditional red and green stationery box. However, there's a twist. Because I received such wonderful feedback on the beauty box that I created, I have decided to fill my traditional red and green box with beauty items, and I created a separate project which is this loaded envelope box to hold my stationary items. Before I review this project in further detail, let me show you the paper that I used. If you recall, the paper that I used for the original Christmas stationary box is called Jingle All the Way by My Mind's Eye. Now this is a mini collection kit, so it only had a few papers and just enough to create the stationary kit. To create the loaded envelope box, I use the Fireside Paper Collection. This is by Recollections. This came out last Christmas, but I thought it was a perfect complement to the Jingle All the Way Paper Collection by My Mind's Eye. This is my loaded envelope box, and I love the way it turned out. I used a tutorial by Eurylis Borja, and she creates this using a ten and a half inch sheet of paper. I will include a link to her tutorial. I've also further expanded this by creating another pocket on the other side. On the front here I have a Christmas card that I've created and this says December 25th. I received a number of questions about the dies that I used to make the cards. I used this Desire die. This is by Crafter's Companion and it's called Stacy. I included these fun tags and I included these embellishments. On the back I've included this cute little holly and then I embellished it with this fun Christmas floral spray. It's got the winter greens, it has these red glitter chenille stems. I have one in red and then one in green. It has this cute little Christmas ball, these iridescent Christmas snowflakes, berries, and then I love these little pearl balls here. Isn't that pretty? I finished this off with a red velvet bow and then this pearl and rhinestone trim. This is glued on the inside. I have it held together with a Christmas straw. This is what the bottom looks like. I've lined the bottom pocket with this pearl trim and then we've got this little cardinal here a white poinsettia, a glitter bow, and a little sentiment that says Merry Christmas. On the back side, we have more Christmas cards inside. I've lined the pocket with this pearl trim, and then I have this adorable little Santa here. In the back, I have a white doily that I've backed on white 110 pound cardstock. This image I fussy cut from the Fireside Christmas Collection and then I back that with red cardstock to make it pop a little bit. We've got another little holly here and a little red bow and let me show you these cards. For this card I use the Desire Creator card called Nicole. For this card, I love the shape of it, the die set that I used is called Emma. For this card I used the rosy die. And last but not least, for this card, I used the Ruth die. And this is what it looks like on the side. This concludes my review of my loaded envelope box. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now, and happy crafting.